Hello my YouTube friends. As you can see, I am starting the vlog from the car. I am actually not in Aberdeen just now, I am in Dundee and I am travelling to Oban, which is on the west coast of Scotland. I have just stopped off to do the toilet and to grab a Starbucks. I'm having a oat milk hot chocolate and I also bought a turmeric shot because it's all about balance, isn't it? Anyway, Let's cut to the chase. Why am I in Dundee? Why am I traveling to Oban? So my project has a partner company called Tritonia Scientific Diving Limited, and they are the lovely divers who dive and collect all of the samples that I use for my project. Because I'm in my final year, I need some more samples for my project. And these are the final samples that I will use for the rest of my project, which is kind of scary. So that also means that this is the final trip to Oban of my PhD, which is really, really sad. So I've been twice already. Almost every year I made one trip to collect more samples. And basically because I work on marine invertebrates, often they need to be collected from depths of, let's say, 10 to 20 meters. And I'm not a diver. And so that's why I have Tritonia Scientific Diving to collect my samples for me. So they go diving and collect the samples. So I need to be there because I go out on the boat and I have a chat with them and I tell them exactly the organisms that I need them to collect. And they they collect them for me and then I have to prepare them to transport them back to Aberdeen. So from Aberdeen to Oban, it's like a four and a half hour drive. So I'm at Dundee now, which is an hour away from Aberdeen. So I've still got three hours to go. So now that I've got my hot chocolate, I'm going to put my audiobook back on. I'm listening to The Power of Now. If you haven't read or listened to The Power of Now, it's a mind blowing, life changing book. Honestly, it is amazing. Um, if you're into like spiritual stuff but yeah i am looking forward to this trip it's wednesday and i'm staying there well driving back on friday so i'm staying tonight and going to the dive site tomorrow and i'm going to take you guys along with me on this whole journey so you can see what it's like going on a scientific field trip now i'm going to go back on the road i'll catch up with you guys when i make the next stop hopefully it's a bit more scenic than this stop because i'm literally just off the road at a starbucks in the middle of dundee speak to you guys later on guys i am now at my airbnb i arrived a little while ago actually but i went for lunch as soon as i arrived because i was absolutely starving so i went to a little pub that was in the city center and yeah now i'm at the airbnb and i'm gonna do some work and chill before i potentially go out for dinner later on so i'm gonna give you an airbnb tour <laughs> so this is the front door here and when you come in you come into this little corridor this is the bathroom through here which is just cute and small but it's really really cold because that radiator is not on so i've just messaged the airbnb host to be like how do i turn on this radiator because it's absolutely freezing in this bathroom like really really cold so yeah just a nice little bathroom uh if i go through here then this is the little living room area, which is really, really sweet. So there is a TV and a chair and a little breakfast table, a sofa and a full kitchen, actually. It has this kind of stove situation and a fridge. Um, we'll still be able to cook on there. I did just go to the shop and buy eggs and bread and avocado so I can have breakfast tomorrow. Cute little view out the window looking at someone's house. <laughs> Um, and a lovely view at this window. Oh, the sun is setting uh, of the water. And I'm on like the high street and there's a builder there. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, the sun is setting and it looks very, very pretty. Right through to the bedroom, which is very nice also. So it's just very simple 
It's got the double bed, big window, another window here, a little chair and a mirror. Hello. So very, very cute and cozy for just little old me. I'm crouched down in the bathroom just now because the Airbnb host, Airbnb host just replied to me saying that there should be a switch at the side of the radiator to, to turn it on, but I'm not seeing any switch to turn it on. Oh, do I have to twist this? I, I don't know what he's talking about. There is literally no switch to turn on this radiator. I'm really confused. See here, it looks like that should have a switch, but there's nothing there. I can't turn it on. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Oh, what does this do? No, it doesn't twist. Huh, I'm not sure. I think I need to get back to the Airbnb host and tell him there's no switch. So I don't know how I'm supposed to turn it on. I don't know if I mentioned, but whenever I go on these field trips, they're actually funded by my project. So my budget for my whole project um, includes research trips like this, which is cool, which means I don't need to pay to stay in this Airbnb. I don't need to pay for like my lunches and my dinner and things like that. I just claim it all back as expenses. So that's the good thing about having a funded PhD. You get these fun trips sometimes that you get to go on. So I'm going to go and relax for a little while now. I figured out the heater situation. There was a switch in the corridor that I had to switch on and then it heats up the heater in the bathroom, but the living room's cold. So I don't know why the heater in here is not heating up. Maybe it just takes a long time. Anyway, I will speak to you guys either tomorrow or later on. It's so pretty here. I just had a really nice dinner. I'm now walking back to my Airbnb. It's not even raining, so I don't know why I have my hood up, but oh, just listen to the sound of the waves. I love it. It's so peaceful. There's literally no one around. Just look at all the lights. It's so cute. Yeah, I'm going back to the hotel. The hotel? I'm going back to the Airbnb. I did all the edits for my manuscript earlier because I got through the proof from the editor. So basically like the final version and it had some comments of things that I had to tweak. So I did that in the room earlier. And before I came for dinner, I had a question and answer session um, with someone I know from Instagram. Um, they run a chemistry club where they interview scientists. So I did a little question and answer session. Now I'm going back to relax until tomorrow. just about to head out um, to go to Tritonia but before I go to Tritonia I am going to go and explore a little beach that is nearby because for now the rain has stopped it has been on off on off on off all morning welcome to the west coast of Scotland so I thought while the rain is off let's go and explore that little beach before I go to Tritonia um this morning I have been trying to make a poster for the conference in California I just realized the other day that I need a poster as well as doing the presentation oh so I'm not very creative when it comes to posters so I'm trying to figure out my layout and everything Usually I would use Microsoft PowerPoint for making posters, but this time I'm deciding to use Canva, which is a website that I use for kind of graphic design um, for my YouTube channel. Um, but you can also use it to make posters and presentations. This is not sponsored by Canva. Canva, if you want to sponsor me, let me know. <laughs> but yes, I'm trying to do it on Canva. I'm not sure if I'm going overly too creative with the colors and stuff, but just want it to look nice. You know, I think posters can be boring a lot of the time and I do not want my poster to be boring 
what's going on here so yes i'm going to head out now go to this little beach and then head to the diving site so my plan hasn't quite worked out because i have now driven to the beach <laughs> which you can kind of see behind my win windscreen but yeah as you can see the rain is fairly pouring down now it looks like a beautiful beach though i don't know if you can see it in the background there is like mountains but i don't really fancy going outside into the rain because i'm going to be on a boat in the rain anyway so yeah i might just wait a couple of minutes and see if the rain goes off and then potentially <laughs> go down to the beach and have a little look okay i'm going to pass on going for a walk to take some pictures on this beach but maybe tomorrow it'll be better so i'm just going to drive to the dive site now hopefully the rain stops because even though i'm going to be wearing waterproofs on the boat it's not very pleasant to be out there in the wind and in the rain <laughs> let's hope that the rain stops <laughs> I am not going out on the boat today because the conditions are not good so I'm just going over to see the divers and tell them the samples that I need and I will wave them off they're going to go on the boat without me but maybe I'll get to go tomorrow so we'll have to wait and see so this is the dive shack which is really really cool uh, all of the air tanks and all of the gear that the divers need all their wetsuits and everything so they're currently out on the boat just now out diving usually there is like a truck thing i'm not sure what it's called uh, which is here and i've got my boxes ready to sort my samples when they come back so they should be back soon and hopefully i can introduce you to the guys this is the view from the upstairs of the shack so nice i don't even know if it's called a shack maybe it's called a hut i don't know but this is dunstaffenage bay which is just outside of Oban city center so I'm now just trying to brace myself because it's very windy outside and when they come back with the samples I'm going to need to sort them out and put them into their bags and I'm going to be very cold so just trying to keep warm just now until I need to go back outside. Okay you're not going to be able to see them but I can see the little boat coming back. I'm going to zoom in. I have a problem where if I zoom in it tends to ruin the audio for some reason so I'm going to show you. There was too many people around so I didn't want to vlog but I'll introduce you guys to the divers tomorrow um, and I'm going out on the boat tomorrow morning so I'll take you guys along with me as well but for now I am absolutely frozen I need a cup of tea and my feet need warmed as well because I feel like my toes are going to fall off inside of my welly boots so I am going to the warm office now maybe do some work on my poster on the computer and then head back to the Airbnb.
fair, your yeah. air's on, equipment's checked. Yeah. You're happy with your uh, dive profile. Yeah. The, uh, both happy to dive. Yeah. Right, both <laughs> ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Good job, Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> Always here for the support. They floated away there, didn't they? Yeah, but it's weird. It's going. So that. That's going that way. Uh -huh. and there's an eddy coming in here, like a back eddy. So does this show you like the directions that they're going in no. as well? Oh, okay. So we just have to turn. So it's flooding. Oh, okay. But I'm not. I'm. I think there's still water up Rocketive. just been out on the boat I cannot feel my toes I can feel my hands now which is good but I've just sorted my samples out and I'm gonna go and get a nice cup of tea and try and warm my feet up because honestly I feel like my toes are going to fall off here is my outfit of the day beanie by Napa Pajiri life jacket by life jacket company really cool high-vis jacket by I don't know waterproof trousers and hunter welly boots fashion <laughs> That's the car packed up now with all of my sample boxes. I just need to grab some ice and then I'm going to hit the road and get back to Aberdeen. It is about four and a half hours later. I'm so tired, but I've made it back to the lab with all of my boxes and I'm going to just label everything, put them in the minus 80 freezer until Monday. Please excuse the mess I am in, but I just want to say thank you so much for watching the vlog and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.